guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about whether or not an expensive wedding is worth it and all that I've learned from financial expert Dave Ramsey on the subject. Uh, my name is Brittany, I write for wayfaringweddings.com and I am a teacher, hippie person that generally doesn't know so much about finances and so I rely on financial experts in the world in the interwebs and in YouTube world and also in my family to kind of um, ask questions and get a better idea of budgeting and managing money and especially when it comes to wedding planning how to do these things better um, and so that's what I'm gonna be talking about today so the bottom line to is an expensive wedding worth it is I would say no for most people an expensive wedding is not worth it um, an expensive wedding is worth it to you if it's not gonna cause you any sort of financial stress or put you in debt if you have the money in the bank and it's not going to hurt you to spend that money, um, then, then it's worth it to you. But I think for most people who are working middle class to upper middle class jobs, a 30, 40, 50 plus K wedding is simply not going to be worth it. And we're much better off having that simple, fun, $5,000 to $10,000 wedding that could be much less stressful and awesome. If you find this video interesting and useful, please like it down below and subscribe to my channel. I make all kinds of videos about how to have a budget-friendly wedding and an eco-friendly wedding. So if you like this video, you will find other stuff on this channel to help you out with your own wedding planning. Okay, so let's get right into this. If you don't know who Dave Ramsey is, uh, I actually don't know a ton about him either, but that he is a big shot in the financial world, millionaire uh, who helps a lot of people on his podcast and YouTube. YouTube channel with all sorts of budgeting questions. So I watched some of his videos about weddings and marriage and came up with the following top 10 tips for um, whether or not a wedding is worth it and what you should keep in mind financially in terms of having a wedding. These are the lessons that I found resonated with me the most and that I thought would be most helpful for you as well. Um, they just made sense to me. I'm not a person who really appreciates um, extravagance, ostentatiousness. Um, I, I guess I'm kind of a frugal person and I just, um, yeah, the, these really, really resonated with me. So I'm gonna go over them today. The first thing that he said that I thought was really good advice was that you should never spend more on your wedding than you have available to you in cash. So that means like not putting anything for your wedding on a credit card, not going into any kind of debt, or I guess like taking out loans for your wedding, which is something some people do. Um, only buying stuff for your wedding that you have in the bank, that you that is your money. <laughs> um, and I, I thought this was really good advice. It's crazy to me that people will spend $50,000 on their wedding and then go back to their one bedroom apartment and suffer <laughs> for, <laughs> The next year eating dollar ramen um, it's just it's like putting on a show of just like showing off what you don't have pretending that you live this extravagant life when you don't really and I that just doesn't jive with me um, so that was lesson number one and I think it's really good only buy only have the what only have a wedding that you can afford in cash the second lesson is that most people overspend on their wedding they will spend, meaning that they will spend more on their wedding than they have available to them in relation to their income and net worth. So if I'm understanding his advice correctly, and I agree with this, is that it's not bad to have an expensive wedding. If you have a lot of money, if you have a high income, and you've got uh, a high net worth, then having an expensive wedding is a $50,000, $60,000 wedding, it's no big deal. Uh, but where it hurts is people who are making $50,000 a year and having a $25,000 wedding, a wedding that costs half their annual income. Um, that's where it's crazy. Um, it's just so telling of how the wedding industry has gotten into our heads and convinced us that we need these super expensive weddings. Essentially that we, we feel like we need to show off and that's, that's really too bad. Okay, the third lesson I learned was um, that the average wedding costs about $27,000 a year. It might be a little bit more now. 
and that the average income is $52,000 a year. So this is in the US, um, and this is from a few years ago, so it might be a little bit higher now. Um, so the average wedding is about half of the average person's annual income, which I mentioned a second ago. Um, but I put this as its own separate lesson because I want this to like hit us for a second, that we are spending half of what we make in a year on one day. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is so many luxurious vacations. That is like backpacking forever. <laughs> that's that's uh, for those of you who want to buy a house, a down payment on a house. We're, we're just so crazy to be spending this much money on our weddings when we're not making that much money. The fourth lesson was that it's simply, it's not immoral to have an expensive wedding. Uh, this is for me personally, because obviously I guess I can be kind of judgmental about extravagant expensive weddings. <laughs> not that I don't love to attend them, um, but that it's, it's fine. If you have the money, you should be able to have the wedding that you want, the expensive wedding that you want. What I'm, I guess what I'm speaking to, who I'm speaking to more are the people who can't afford to live up to the pressure of, of um, the expensive wedding expectations that we see on TV and that our friends are throwing, um, and that it's okay. You don't have to kill yourself trying to live up to these expectations. Number five is that Dave Ramsey said, quote, you can have a fine wedding for $5,000 to $10,000. And that is something I totally agree with. Um, that's actually our price range. We're planning on having a wedding in that price range. And I think that people sometimes think like ridiculously because five to $10,000 is a lot of money, but oh man, you can't do anything with five to $10,000 on your wedding. That's gonna be like a crappy wedding or like, uh, you know, a, not a very chic wedding or like not very fun or whatever. Um, but he did say like you can have a great wedding in this price range and i totally agree i think you can have a super fun amazing memorable wedding if not more so <laughs> than um some of those 70k weddings out there it's not how much money you spend it really isn't i've been to weddings that were very um low budget and that were very memorable more so than very expensive weddings i've been to a sixth lesson was that there's no correlation statistically between the success of the marriage and the size of the wedding or the expense of the wedding, which is something we really should be keeping in mind um, because sometimes we separate wedding and marriage too much instead of thinking of them as something that we're, should really be considered very closely together. We're, getting, we're having a wedding because we wanna get married. Um, so just because you're having a very extravagant, expensive wedding, it makes no difference at all to the success of the wedding, and that's statistics. Uh, number seven is almost the same thing. It's that the size of the wedding ring has no correlation to the success of the wedding. Uh, so again, that's just statistics. So buying a super expensive, crazy diamond ring doesn't mean that you're gonna have a successful marriage. Um, and I see this with my own parents actually, who had a tiny wedding, who eloped actually, um, who my dad proposed to my mom with the, the paper ring of a cigar because <laughs> they didn't have any money. Um, and they're still married after like close to 40 years now. The eighth lesson is super practical and that's to make a budget. We all know this, to make a plan, have a budget. Um, he said, I liked this quote, wander in with pure emotion and no plan, <laughs> plan it out, just be grown-ups. Uh, yeah, so this is where people get trapped because they're feeling very emotional when they're wedding shopping, especially for things like dresses, um, and they can easily be trapped into spending more money than they intended. So having a plan, even though you hear this again and again and again, is essential. If you don't have a plan, you're gonna spend and spend without even thinking about it and you're gonna regret it. Number nine is specifically marriage advice more so than the wedding advice but things that you should have cleared up and communicated about before your wedding day and so Dave Ramsey says if you can be in agreement on four specific areas um, going into your marriage that you have a way higher statistical chance of staying together and being in a happy marriage. And those four areas are agreeing on money, um, children, whether or not to have them and how you're going to treat them, 
um, in-laws, so how you're gonna deal with your in-laws, and religion. And that if you can agree on those four things, you are statistically way less likely to have problems in your marriage. If you don't agree on those four things going in, um, you're looking at some trouble. And finally, the 10th lesson here is also to do with money. Uh, so he said that the number one cause of divorce and stress in the US is money. And that's important, that money one especially, if you're having money fights over the wedding, if you're not agreeing on things, <laughs> That's, I mean, there are some things, there are some potential red flags there. So you really have to be on the same page about money in terms of planning this wedding. That's maybe your first big financial project together for some couples. Um, and if you're seeing some problems here, work it out. Come to some kind of agreement before it snowballs too much. So we just want to keep that in mind <laughs> and not blow up our weddings before they begin by having a financial meltdown over our wedding, wedding planning. All right, guys, if this is helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to my channel and join me for more wedding things just like this. Okay, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>